Hi, my name is Zachary. Welcome to Zachary Show. Today I'm going to be talking about the Zach Power books. Today is going to be the first day of the series of the Zach Power books on our bookshelf. The bookshelf is literally all about me and some guests coming in to read a little bit of it. So today we are going to be starring the Zach Power books. I'm going to go get my books. Here we go. I have the Whorehouse. So on the cover it might say 24 hours to save the world and and replace the light bulb. That's literally the thing that he's doing at did anybody see Zachary? Mm. I don't know who I'm going to call in, but I'm going to be talking about the swamp race. So you see this crocodile? Zach Power on one of the places, he grabs onto this orb, and then he starts... And then, and then the orb starts moving everywhere. And then he has lasers for protection. There's a mutant eel. Stay away. Those guys are very toxic. They, they live in the swamps, where Professor Voller is. He's one of the guys in, inside this book. See this toad here? It's supposed to look like a, a swamp toad. It is not a swamp toad. What it is, it's, it has this thing called the X-beam. But Kaz, she's another character. She has a whip like this. Hmm, not bad. I'm going to go take a look. break. Swamp race. I would be reading Vigilus. Chapter 1. Zack Power pulled another shirt out of the laundry basket. He was not having a good night. Zack Pence had been called into his school for a meeting. The principal had noticed that Zack had missed a lot of school. Lately, she wondered, she wanted to know why. That true was that Zach was a highly, those are like a poop day. Wait, did I forget to tell you about this baby? It's a robotic crocodile. Check your house right now, a robot. Professor Voller invented this guy. It has razor sharp teeth, a metal armor body, and also you see these things here? That makes it swim. This toad has the prints of the X beam inside. Oh, found it. So here are the X beam prints. So you see these things here? That's those are goggles, so then you can see what's coming out of here. It's literally an X-ray. And I'm gonna show you a tiny trick. I like to do. 